Hi everyone, Claudia here from Lighting Clarity. I have your channel messages for the, for the week beginning Tuesday the 11th of June. Please bear with me while I connect for you all. Thank you. All right, I have King Solomon of the Light coming in for you all straight away. Just bear with me while I make the connections stronger. And as you know, King Solomon helps with building um, your structures in life and putting the foundations under them. So Solomon is stepping forward quite um, in a solid manner towards each of you. And he brings in the energy of courage into the heart centers and he wants you all to step forward within yourselves. He says, I want you to be more solid within your own lives. Step forward and be more in your own strengths as you tackle what it is that is coming forward. He says, there are a number of issues for some of you that are already present that have already come forward. He says, we want you to stand in the air of confidence and self-trust and self-worth. He also shows me there's something that you've almost given up on and he's asking you not to. There is something that you've been trying to bring to fruition or it's a goal or something you've been trying to work out. He says, I don't want you giving up on this. And he shows me this one particular thing. So you would know what that is as I'm speaking. Um, and he says, I want you to, um, I want to see what he says, but not give up is what he says. He says things do take time in your world. Everyone's at different levels of manifesting as well. It depends on how much energy you have as well energetically with manifesting. Sometimes our manifestations are slower, he says, depending on the energy level you have within yourselves and the determination as well. He says that affects with manifesting. I didn't really, I, I suppose it does make sense, but I didn't really think of it that way. He says a lot of you have the know-how already with how to proceed with many things in your lives. What you lack is the self-belief and the self-trust. He says this is all about this is all about having that confidence. He takes me back to a time when a lot of you were a lot younger. Uh, we want to put you between primary school and high school. So. For those of you in America, elementary and high school, yeah? You all know what I'm talking about, my international friends there. Um, and he says, I want to put you back there where you were learning between going from one school to the other, learning about when you're going up to the next grade, knowing that this is the change of going to the, into year seven, as we say, first year of high school for us in Australia, year seven, knowing that the game changes, that the schoolwork jumps, that there's more expected of you. And where it does take a leap of faith to believe in your skills and abilities, as we move up the, the levels within school. And he takes me back to you being very young, all of you really, because uh, this is a reading for all of you. Um, and he says, a lot of you are operating from that, that memories coming up or that feeling of feeling insecure is coming up to do with this particular thing you want to bring to manifestation, not sure whether you could do it, whether you've got the capabilities. And he says, you've all got the capabilities, the know-how to tackle what's in front of you right now and also to bring to fruition what is that you want for yourself, that one manifestation that you've been working on. That was a mouthful, bear with me. He 
So he says a lot of you are walking towards what is it you want. Some of you are dragging your arms a bit, but he says you're actually walking towards it. And he's making me feel that stamina is going to come in for those of you who have been lacking it. Stamina is going to come in to do with this. Thank you. And then he shows me with this stamina comes spinning the wheel of manifestation and it's going to start to spin faster. The wheel, the movement forward will, will come in and you won't be able to stop it. You're just going to go whoosh as it comes in. <coughs> now in closing... Some of you worry a lot about things. Some of you, there's some of you on here that worry about everything that you take, you become quite anxious and nervous, um, unnecessarily so. Some of you have been turning yourselves into knots. He says there's no need for this. He says everything has a divine timing. He says, I want you to start to trust the natural flow and the unfoldment of each of your lives. So at the moment, he says, some of you may feel things are in a pause or a little bit stagnant slightly or in a slight pause. He says, we're giving you a moment to think strategically about how to move forward to do with certain life lessons that you're experiencing and what it is that you want to bring to fruition. He shows me, makes me feel that your spirit guides are actually standing far closer than you are aware of. They're actually watching you. He says, if you're wanting more help, Ask your spirit guides to assist you with this particular life bearer. And you say, I call upon my most highest loving spiritual guides of the light to please assist me. I call you in, give them a moment to come in, speak them out loud and say, thank you for coming in, my most highest loving spiritual guides of the light. I ask you to please help me with this particular life area. And you give that to them. You ask for their assistance. It's going to allow them to assist you more effectively. He says, trust you've got this. He makes me feel that you've, you've got this in hand. Whatever these situations are you need to resolve or whatever this is that you need to bring to fruition. He says, trust you've got this. He's making me feel you've got the know-how, the capability and that you will indeed resolve this. You will indeed bring what is that you want to fruition. It is a moment in time where a lot of things are on pause slightly for a very short time things may feel stagnant slightly he says but it is just giving you a moment to think re-strategize rethink and decide on the direction you're heading in and how it is you're going to sort this out and you go for it he says you go for it you don't hold back All right, I'm going to thank King Solomon for coming in. Okay, many warm blessings for your week. I'll connect with all of you again this week. Thanks, everyone.